Hey fandom and uh, people that might not consider themselves comic fans, but like the idea of getting something free. Uh, it's a comic show holiday special. It's our holy day, free comic book day, where we celebrate all things comics. And it's uh, pretty much the one day of the year that uh, fanboys stop all their complaining and just shriek with fan joy as we celebrate everything we love. Uh, every publisher has something out and it's all free. Uh, sometimes uh, fanboys get a little bit uh, protectionist or a little bit upset that, oh, I already have this, it's just a reprint. And it's like, hey, this ain't for you, really. It's for the, the whole industry. It's for the whole, the whole movement of comics to get people to try comics and read comics. And here at a comic shop, we have a lot of fun with it. We just party. If you have a costume and you want to wear a costume here, hold a sign, do some street theater, just be ridiculous, hit us up. You know, we always do fun stuff. And our comic book day is going to be the first Saturday in May like everyone else, uh, May 4th. And it's going to go from 10 to who knows when, midnight, because we have a bar and lounge in here called the Geek Easy where we have beer and food and we'll have entertainment. It's going to be, it's going to be a blast, but here's the books. Here's my picks of the best books. Infinity, it's the Marvel book. It's Thanos. You guys love Thanos if you're a comic fan, you know, from Infinity, Gauntlet, all that stuff. And if you saw the Avengers movie, he was that weird purple-faced guy with the raisin chin at the end after the credits. And this is new material. It might have been digitally released before, but it's new for um, us that just read print comics. And then it has a backup uh, Thanos and Drax story. And then it has a, a little Avengers teaser of an Avengers comic. But this is a must this is gonna be the big event starting August for Marvel. Grab this. Uh, Superman, I'm sure people are excited about the Superman movie with this most recent uh, trailer, which was awesome. This is Jeff Johns, the man, and Richard Donner, who you know from the original Superman movies, and Adam Kubert on art, and it's uh, Last Son of Krypton. Great, Superman vs. Zod, what more could you want? The Walking Dead, if you are a Walking Dead fan of the TV show. This spoils nothing. The TV show and the book are their own separate universes. People die in different orders. There's some different characters that are only in one or the other. And if you get the comic, you may not have this either because, um, yeah, this is weird. The Michonne story originally appeared in Playboy magazine. I'm not making this up. And uh, the Governor origin story originally appeared in a uh, comic book legal defense fund book. Uh, they were both made as one shots as well. They weren't collected in any books, but this is both of them together here for freaking free. So you get the origin of Michonne and the origin of the Governor's, um, you know, heads in the, in the uh, aquarium stuff for free, and you know, the cool thing about this is Walking Dead doesn't do flashbacks. There there's never has been and there never will be a flashback in the Walking Dead comics. So when you have new characters come along and you're like, hey, you know, what were they before this and, and how did they react to the actual Z day, the actual day that the zombie stuff happened, that's in here with Michonne. Uh, Star Wars, you get a Brian Wood Star Wars story for free, and it's uh, Boba Fett, Boba Fett and Vader. Did he try to assassinate Vader? You gotta read the book. And uh, Brian Wood's Star Wars book is the best Star Wars book ever. If you like Star Wars, it takes place after A New Hope and before Empire, and it's just freaking perfect. So come grab this. You know, if you are a Star Wars fan, you have to love either Vader or Boba Fett. I love Boba Fett with a passion. I'm, I love Boba Fett. Uh, venturing out into some things that aren't mainstream, a Pig of Mine is Valiant. I love Valiant. These are books that aren't necessarily superhero, but they're all, you know, action and adventure crazy stuff. And give it a shot. These are very smartly made books by creators that are just let loose to create what they want. Absolution, this is an R-rated book. It's basically like Dexter with superpowers. And it's by Avatar Press that does a lot of R-rated stuff. There are plenty of kids' books I'm going to blow through, but... I'm kind of sadistic, and I love Dexter, and this book is awesome. I, you know, why wouldn't he just start off in, you know, supervillains? And Bleeding Cool. Bleeding Cool is a website that I'm on, and it's kind of infamous. Uh, a, lot of, um, a lot of the big publishers don't like it. You know, it's full of rumors. It's like the TMZ of comics, so, you know, take that as you will. But I love the idea that this is a book that tells you about how you enjoy comics. What comics should you start with? What graphic novels should you start with? What are some of the independent publishers putting out? What are some of their characters? Because you already know all the mainstream stuff from movies and video games and TV. Here's some indie stuff. And, you know, just read this like I do on, uh, on the toilet. Just read it on the toilet. What else are you doing on the toilet? You shouldn't be eating, you know, so you should be reading. And since you got it for free, you can actually throw it away after you read it on the toilet. So um, it's awesome. So give that a shot, Bleeding Cool Magazine. Um, 
I'm also digging the, the Ninja Turtles. This is from the TV show. And of course, it's, it's appropriate for kids. And if you have, you know, this, I believe turtles are unisex. So it's like Scooby-Doo, you know, if you're a guy or a girl, you can get into turtles. Everyone loves turtles. I like turtles. You know, the little boy likes turtles. Little girls like turtles. Grab turtles. Uh, the DC also has one directed for kids, not like the Superman one. It's more adult, but uh, this is the new TV shows they have coming out. The new Batman and the Teen Titans Go, which is a more anime style like the old Teen Titans, but a lot more uh, chibi, a lot more cutesy, a lot, you know, it's, it's fun. And again, Teen Titans is, is obviously unisex. There's plenty of girls in it. Uh, Marvel has a kid's book, Hulk Smash, their new cartoon, and Ultimate Spider-Man, their cartoon with the voice of Drake Bell as Spider-Man. He's so dreamy. Um, Kaboom! Boom Comics puts out a lot of books that uh, are, you know, all ages, but also for adults that are, are slackers and, and pretty much worthless society that like regular show and Adventure Time like me. So grab Kaboom. Uh, every year, Bongo puts out the best Simpsons stuff and, you know, the most relevant character to comics is, you know, comic book guy. Uh, SpongeBob was great. Top Shelf Kids does a lot of good indie books for kids. It's very cute. Ali is kind of like Pooh Bear with no words and uh, very cute. This is what kind of struck me as weird. They made the claim this is the first Sesame Street comic made. I mean, I know Sesame Street's like older than me, like 30-something years old. What? And it's a flip book with Strawberry Shortcake. So, you know, get both of those. And I'm bringing this home to my daughter today, so she'll get it early. But, you know, the fairies. You know, it's not all about princesses. You know, you got to have some fairies, too. And there's plenty of other things. There's, um, you know, darker stuff like Image Top Cow with Aphrodite X. There's Smurfs. There's weird... Uh, my Little Pony parody satires, um, just all kinds of crazy stuff. The Tick, which was a comic before it was a cartoon show and before it was a failed TV show that had four episodes maybe air of a six episode season that I loved. But um, there's plenty of stuff you can see. And Atomic Robo, if you see that one, grab it. Atomic Robo is such a great book. It is all ages, it is fun, but it's, it's smart and heady. It's like Nikolai Tesla on, on the comics page. And uh, here at a comic shop, it's not just Free comic book day, it's free comic book May because it's the whole month. Every Saturday May we're gonna have something. So the second Saturday we're gonna have free independent comics, free image number ones, which are non-superhero stuff, and free valiant number ones. And we're going to be giving those away and we'll have a little stamp card where you get a stamp each week. It's like a business card and we, we put a stamp on it. We call it a stamp card. Then the third Saturday, we're going to entice you to come in this Geek Easy and we're gonna give you free hot dogs. It's free hot dog day and um, you know, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's gonna be fun, you know? give you a free hot dog. If you're 21 or over, you better buy a beer, you know, come on. I mean, you got to have something to, to water the hot dog down while you drink it. And then buy, eat the hot dog. And then finally, um, the last Saturday, we're going to have free graphic novel day. Well, we'll pick a few graphic novels, you know, maybe four or five that you can choose from, which are the ones we like the best, our very favorite ones. These are not discount trashy ones, but they're, we're not just going to let you come in and take whichever one you want that you would otherwise buy anyway, maybe. Screw that. We're going to give you it free if you come each week and get your card stamped. But it's going to be like Saga, our Morning Glories, are the books that we really like. Some of the Valiant books like Harbinger, the ones that we're actually pushing. So it's probably not going to be the superhero Marvel or DC stuff. And, you know, we, we might pick an all-ages thing just to placate the masses. But we're really pushing fandom. We're really pushing just pushing the envelope and what we love about comics. And yes, the mainstream stuff is cool, but some of these other things, it's just, this is stuff that you're not getting in your life of your regular diet of entertainment if you're not a comic fan. You're not getting it from TV. You're not getting it from movies. You're not getting it from Hollywood because there's so many hands in that pot. There's so many things watering things down and, and changing ideas and uh, different writers on the next season. And, you know, I don't even have to tell you about the last season of Lost. I mean, you, you're with me. Um, but with comics, it's the singular voice of one writer artist or a writer and an artist of their voices together telling exactly what they want to tell and if you like it you're going to love it for the duration of that comic. Creator owned comics are where it's at, they're what we're most passionate about and that's what makes these people into just diehard comic fans. It's not just this love for spandex and superheroes and boys adventures and boys that never want to grow up. I mean I don't want to grow up in the ways that are traditionally like mature and boring but I do like comics as literature. I like it pushing the envelope. And we got a lot of that stuff. So seriously, 
check it out. It's free comic book day. It's not just for your kids. It's not just for kids. It's for college age people. And it's for older people that might be bored with their life. They might not, you know, are, are, do you feel dead inside? Do you feel like there's something missing? Is, is there a, a comic shaped hole in your soul that, that we can just kind of like fill with comics, you know? Come to free comic book day and then come back for free comic book May and, and you know, belong, find community. This is like, you know, it's, it's what you've been missing in your life. So thanks, give us a shot. It's a comic shop, Cimarron University, May 4th, be there.